All right, Hoosier fans, you are very lucky because today you're gonna be uh, let in on our little secret of the Hoosier approach with Scott Donnelly. What goes through your head? What is our approach that leads to our success? Starts when you're in the hole. My number one thing I like to do is stir up in the crowd a little bit, try to find the prettiest girl out there. I look at her, just try to make awkward eye contact, stare at her for as long as I possibly can. When she looks over, give her a little nice little wink, blow her a kiss, let her know who's up the bat. Is there a, like a walk, you know, like an intimidation? We noticed that Schwarber kind of walks nice and slow. What would you say is like your go-to walk? One thing I like to do when I'm going to the plate, I like to flaunt it a little bit. Girls like nice little cushions, so I walk up there, kind of shake it a little bit. Notice he's notice he's popping out that hip. I mean, pop hip, pop hip. That's pop. exactly what you do when you go up to bat. When you step to the plate, actually, number one thing to lose your approach is try to get your back shoulder as low as you can. You want to elevate and celebrate. You don't want to, I mean, a lot of coaches preach going work down around the ball. I mean, that's not, that's not what you do. You want to hit home runs, chicks dig the long ball. Okay, right when you step up into the plate, a lot of coaches say get in bounce, find a nice base. But here at IU, you want to be as narrow as possible, as unbalanced as you possibly can be. That's the key to success. So I tend to open up a little bit, be off balance, be on the heels of your feet. And then a lot of, a lot of coaches try to teach squish the bug, but actually, I almost like to go opposite and turn that way a little bit. The whole time, I'm not thinking about what pitch is coming to me. I'm thinking about one, that pretty girl in the stands, and two, that back shoulder. I'm trying to hit the ground with it. So I'm step up to the bat. Right here is probably a practice swing. If you fall towards the plate, it's wrong. You want to fall as far away from it and backwards as possible. You've learned it from Scott Donnelly. Now we're going to put this into you know actual practice. So we have our freshman here, young blood, Austin Cangelosi. Um, he's going to take it from the top, from walking out of the dugout to the plate. Let's see what he's got. I'm on deck, my, not even practicing swinging, not even looking at the picture. Just uh, checking it out, just a wing, a kiss, and then here we go, I'm up. Stop, uh -huh. stop, that's terrible. I need more hits. So you're saying I need more pop? You're too stiff, loosen up, too stiff. Yes, yes. That's a lot better, that's popping the step. That's a lot better. All right, start from the beginning, that's it. Too wide. You should almost like feel like you're gonna feel like you're falling backwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, bad bat pass. Yeah. Lower shoulder. Oh yeah. I'm feeling good. This is... Now hey, key thing, I think you emphasize this. Where is she? I don't know. That's I don't know. That's you your first know. problem. No. No, that's terrible. We don't like that. That's terrible. Here. That's right. terrible. One of the key things on, on, I mean this is where you can this is where you can see everything is T work. T work is where you can see everything. You try to hit it over the net, that's why the net's there. The net's not to protect the ball, try to hit it over it. Right. Try it again, I mean, lower shoulder. Lower shoulder. There it is, my friends. Right there is the Hoosier approach to baseball. Oh, great. Oh, great. We'll take it. Just pass that knowledge on.